Hey guys, Patton here. Welcome back to Will It Run on the SNES Classic. So this episode is kind of different from the other ones. I didn't get a request on this game, at least not that I can remember. If you did, here you go. I want to look at Cave's story. When I was going through the cores that you can use on the SNES Classic, what stood out to me where you can use or play games that use the Cave Story engine. And I played a little bit of Cave Story. I played it on the uh, the Wii, on the Virtual Console. And it's been released on PC and a bunch of other platforms. So I was interested in seeing how well it would run. So we're going to take a look at that today. So in the description I'll have a download link to KMDF Manix Core Set. And in there you'll see a folder as, as soon as you open it up and another folder with Cave Story. And it's going to have everything in there that you need in terms of the game to play. Because apparently it's freeware, you're, you can play it no problem. So after you download his core set in your HackG2 program, go to modules, install extra modules. We're going to go down and the core we want is this one right here, NX Engine 8517. I'm going to install this to our SNES Classic. So to do that, you're going to click the box next to it to where it's checked like that. Also make sure you have the RetroArch core installed or else this isn't going to work. This has to be installed for any of the cores to work. So RetroArch and the NX Engine. You're going to click OK. After you click OK, a box is going to pop up for you to hold the reset button down as you hit the power button on your Super Nintendo. After you do that, a bar will appear on your screen. Once it fills in green all the way, it means that this core is installed to your system and it's ready to go. So you have the core installed. The game. You're going to click Add More Games, and I'm actually already in his set here. So when you download his core set, it's going to look like this. You'll have the extras if you're doing the newest one, which I recommend, then a bunch of cores here. Go into that extras folder and you'll see a cave story folder. Inside there you'll have these two zip files. This cave story en, that's for the the actual like PC version if I had to describe it a certain way. And this one right here, the Dokutsu, is for Sega Genesis. I guess this was released on Sega Genesis as well. And you can use the Pico Drive mod to play that one. But we're going to look at the regular PC version. So I um, unzipped it. And this is the folder that we get, another cave story with EN. These are the folders that you're looking for. What you want to add as a game is the Dokutsu EXE file. So you're going to click Open. Now it's processed. Let's change this real quick. We're just changing the name so we can get a better box art. We're going to Google. Let's see what we get. I, I have no idea. 3DS. Um, I kind of like this one right here. That's cool. I like, I like the little dude. So now we have our game folder installed. We also have our box art. Um, but that's not all you have to do with this. We need to open up our game folder. So if you look right here, the folder ID, the last uh, letters are EXQXQ for me. So we're going to go into our HackG folder. We're going to move it so you can see everything. And you're going to go to your games underscore SNES folder. And here it is right here, EXQXQ. We're going to open that up. And you can see we have our EXE file and our box art. So, before anything else, you want to go back to the core set where we, where we got the game initially. Okay, right here. So you're going to take this data folder, you're going to copy it, you're going to go back to your game SNES folder and where we put the EXE file. You're going to paste this in there. Data and the EXE box art, all that fun stuff. So we are good to go here. Next thing we need to do is change the command line. So once again, if you look at the module, it was NX Engine, I think. Yeah, NX Engine. So that's what we have to change the command line to. If you do this slash bin slash EXE, you can take out the EXE, replace it with NX Engine. And once you have that done, the last thing to do is to synchronize the game to your SNS Classic. So you hit the synchronize button right here. That bar will pop up again. It'll fill in green. Once it's done, it's moved to your SNES Classic. Command line is there. The core is installed. We have our box art. 
it's been transferred well you will transfer it over to your SNES classic so let's head over there and see how cave story runs so here we are cave story let's go see how this starts up right away look at that here's some story I actually played a tiny bit of this maybe one or two hours sounds good studio pixel 2004 this game is 13 years old so there's a transmission from somewhere connecting to network we're logged on chat algorithm we're looking for sue or somebody is kazuma's looking for sue this guy's lost there's nothing here he really wants to talk to sue so here's our guy i don't know his name you see the disc if you push down do you want to save yes Game saved. If you push down on this heart thing, health is refilled. So we're in the first cave here. So if you don't, if you're not familiar with this game, it's like a uh, Super Metroid or you know like Castlevania: Symphony of Night type of game, it, Metroidvania, whatever. More like Metroid, I think. Got a life capsule, only because you collect items like this. So our max health increased by three. We are now at six. We're gonna dodge these bad guys. Not well, apparently. Alright, because we have no way to attack right now. Let's go in the mouth of this panther. Just because there's a sleeping dude. Hermit Gunsmith. What's in here? We got the Polar Star. From somewhere, a transmission. So this dude is talking to Sue again. What he's looking for? He found Sue. Please respond. They're looking for you. Are you asleep? Apparently her brother's lonely. So now, this is something I don't like out of the box. B jumps, which is fine, but A shoots. I'm not... Oh, you can shoot up. I didn't know that. Anyway, I'm, I'm not a fan of that, so I'm going to change the controls real quick. To do that, you go into your retro menu, settings, input... Input user one binds, no problem. We're just going and gonna make the jump, or not the jump button, the fire button. I'm gonna push Y. There we go. So let's get out of here. We're at 60 frames a second, perfect. It's where we wanna be. So now, much better. B and Y, all right, can we talk to this guy? Nope, he's asleep. We took his gun, we are thieves. What an example we're setting for children everywhere. If you see a gun, take it. Don't mind the sleeping guy. So from what I remember, those little triangle things that you collect, they power up your gun. And you can see that yellow bar up in the top left. Once that fills up all the way, I believe your weapon levels up. I don't think I made it far enough to see if there were multiple weapons. I think there are. And of course the heart will refill your life. Don't touch the spikes, they will hurt and probably kill you. Now that we have a gun, excuse me, fat thing, we can shoot through these star blocks. And we're going to take care of these guys. Every time you get hit, by the way, your uh, power-up gun bar loses... Oh, the door has an eye. It's alive. Excuse me. Knock, knock, jump. Thank you. Whatever. And there's this guy. He's weird. Answer me. I'm so hungry. There's nothing to eat and I've been reduced to feeding on cockroaches. That was a joke. But he will. This is Mimiga Village. Angry bunny with a scar. Hand over the key, they say. No. Are you trying to protect Sue? She's a stranger and not one of us. But Sue's a good person. She would never betray her. Taroko, when a doctor comes, he'll... he'll Take somebody away again if we don't turn her over, it could be you. And that person is not 100% buying that idea. And we fall out of nowhere. Hello. Goodbye, little bunny. That's some good music. Hello, sir. You're not an enemy? No, I thought for sure it was them. I'm king. The number one in the village. But there's only six of them. Unless you count Sue, then there's seven. But she doesn't count, really. You can't shoot King. We're gonna save. 
Yes, we do. Game saved. And we're going to refill our health. So we're in Mamiga Village. We're looking... Maybe we're looking for someone named Sue? I don't really know our role in this game yet. Somebody's eating. And surprise. Oh, you startled me. Sue? She's in Arthur's house, living with Taroko. She is apparently very sweet. She's looking for the Sky Dragon. We don't know if they exist. Okay. Here's Arthur's house. And it's locked. Can we shoot these? No, we can't. I'm disappointed, game. Can we run? I don't see a run button. Oh, L and R. Do something up there. What about here? The shack. Is it the psychedelic shack? Is that where it's at? We're going old school with these jokes, people. Don't worry about it. But this is a retro game. Not that retro. Okay, let's well, let's, let's get some platforming done. We've, we've played games like this before. And I couldn't decide what I wanted to do there, so we'll skip that part. And just shoot everything. At least we can do it from this way, maybe. I don't trust that. I don't trust that jump. It doesn't look like we should be able to make that. So we're going to go up here again and we're going to do a long jump or not that long. What is this? The assembly hall. Avengers? Not really. There's triangles. Terrible assembly. Who are you? I'm Jack, the number two. This door leads to the graveyard where the hero Arthur lies. What am I doing? Mushrooms have been springing up in the graveyard, so I'm guarding the door to make sure they don't get out. What a nice guy Jack is. Much better than King. He's a punk. Are we going to make it? Nope. Not this time. And we're back at the bottom. This game was really popular when it came out. And I think it kind of maybe shaped the way for future blah 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 whatever you want to call that stuff. What's up here? Another sign. The Yamashita farm. Hey, something's going on over there. We're gonna find out what it is but first this is our farm. They raise flowers. It's their job to watch over the farm. The Mamigas depend on the flowers for sustenance but not the red ones. Wow, don't eat the red ones because you will die terribly. But they don't grow around here, so we're okay. What is this? A sprinkler. Hey, I bet we can't we can't go in here. Got a life capsule. More health. That's what we get for exploring. Extra health. Can we get out though? That's not even something I can stand on. How embarrassing. Get on that block. There we go. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm just going to go over here and shoot nothing. Back to the village. Can we go up there? No, we can't. Should we talk to King again? Maybe. Oh, wait. We have another door. Excuse me, King. Never mind. The reservoir. Hello, reservoir. A fish. But I don't think I will survive long enough to have fun with that fish. Hello! Sue? Yeah, I know her. Oh, she's cute, apparently. She's always in Arthur's house, though. Not too long ago, we found her rush washed up here in the reservoir. It doesn't seem to like us much. Wow. Don't know why. Because she's a Mamiga, also. What is this shiny thing? I want it. Something gleams in the dirt. A silver locket. I'm going to kill this fish. I hope I was supposed to. I might die. I actually might very much die. Let's make it before we drown. Oh, the suspense. Hey, who's that? Come here, you. Ah, we scared the little bunny. Or Mamiga, sorry. I don't know. Give me the key, he says. And no. Wow. What a fool. Angry. Taroko, you're not getting away that easily. We have to find Taroko. Can we get in this house yet? Negative. Where did you go, little bunny? Maybe back in the shack. 
Are you here, bunny? Aha! Why you- oh, hey. Oh, you're hurting us. There, stop that. Save me, save me. Huh? You're not the doctor. Or with the doctor. Apparently the doctor's... Yeah, there. Doctor's a mean guy, popping up in our village and taking us away. Even killing them. He killed his brother. That's terrible. Or her brother. I don't know. And I found a pendant. Sue gave it to them. So now we have a pendant. Something's happening with that door. What is that? There you are. You can't hide. No, no. I've got the nose of a bloodhound. Indeed you do. Oh, and a floating woman. The nose and I dare say the brain as well. Oh, misery. I found her first. Oh, so it is a she. Okay. You guys aren't with the doctor, are you? So you're Sue. The doctor called for you. Come along. Oh, they're mistaken. Well, they're taking the little bunny anyway. Balrog. So the lunchbox's name is Balrog? You've got the wrong... Too late! Not again! I always have to clean up. And here I found her first. So what's your deal? You gonna fight me with that thing? Yes! Did you know that? Well then you should know you're probably gonna lose! I have the polar star! You are not doing very... Oh! Trickery! You gonna jump this time? Nope. Balrog. What kind of name is that? You're not even a boxer. Get away from here, toaster. So we beat Balrog. And some jewels for our trouble. Back at the village, he really messed up that door. So! How about that? Cave story on the SNES Classic. It runs great and it sounds awesome. I would recommend everybody who is into games like that to give it a shot. I hit the wrong button, excuse me. There we go. So yeah, I would, uh, there you go. Just follow those steps and you can play some Cave Story on your SNES Classic. How awesome is that? Maybe I'll play through to the end this time. So thank you all for watching. This has been Patton. I will see you guys next time. So if you guys want to get in touch with me outside of the YouTube comments, you can feel free to follow my Twitter at Patent Place. Or if you have any questions, uh, you can email me at my Gmail account, patentplaysgames at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you guys next time.